This is Julianne, NEMSIS Data Promotion Officer, and I want to show you how to build a simple report in the EMS Data Cube. We are starting out already in the cube. If you're not sure how to get here, watch the quick video titled Access the EMS Data Cube. For this demonstration, let's explore male cardiac arrest events that occurred after EMS arrival. That'll give us an interesting little report. To start every query or question, we're going to need a measurement. On the left side here under measures, you'll see summary measures. Expand that section and put a check mark next to count of events. You will see in the results area the total number of EMS activations since January 1st, 2017. Your number is going to be different than mine since events are added constantly. Now we're going to add our first element. Over here we're going to look at cardiac arrest elements. Put a check mark next to cardiac arrest, and that has now been added to the results area. Let's expand that element so you can see the variables that we're dealing with. This is the one that we're interested in, but now we need to add gender. You can scroll through here to find patient demographics, or you can type in gender in the search bar, and it will bring up patient demographics, gender, and we want to put a check mark in this box next to gender. That adds gender to our results area. We want to expand the section that we're interested in. Here's gender. We're interested here, so we're going to expand that so that we can see the variables in that element. We're interested in this variable. So as of this recording, there have been more than 17,000 EMS activations for male patients that have experienced cardiac arrest after EMS arrival. This is just a simple report. You can continue to investigate details such as age, EMS response mode, medications, procedures, and much more. Watch further videos for simple instructions on clarifying data elements, designing a graph, and exporting data. For questions or support, click on the link below or find our con contact information on the support page of the nemsis.org website. Send us an email, give us a call. We'd love to hear how we can better support your data needs. Thank you.